she literally like left us off the phone and flew here, had no phone or anything, worked for two days and went back. Good guy. Um, anything else on there that people have questions about on how it's made or why it has features? It's been three years old. How or why? What's the, what, what are you questioning now? So, would it, would it be a simple way to do this? No. Maybe. The, the what? Yes. So, one of the things, because if you look at that, you, not that you guys want to take fluid energy. So, you have to maintain a certain fluid flow through that. I forget, but it's like 8 meters a minute, one direction, and then the aspiration flow is like 1 meter a minute. Um, you have to, I think you have to maintain light around flow, you can't have turbulent flow, if you look at that. So that's why that whole flow path, and a lot of the, so every time they make a batch of this, they make 90 of them in a batch, you burn 20 testing days. Testing takes three years to see if they're okay. Nothing ever changes. Well, sometimes they change. Like those are, if you feel them, they're sticky, they didn't matter. But then how do you quantify, everything you test, you have to quantify. How do you quantify that they just don't feel them? So we had to come up with a test, with a light transmission test, to transmit light through a certain percent of the light that was through, then you have to kind of check the transmission because they come up with the criteria. Other tests that are done with that, there's a king test. Like it has to maintain a certain flow level and kind of as it's like completely like twisted on itself in the king. Um, there are pressure drops, fluid flow, there's all kinds of different tests that have to happen, both in the proving of stuff. Um, and as well as in the regular maintenance of regular check by the HP, just checking to make sure that it's still operating properly. Uh, that is an FDA product now that's out for sale. Uh, there are other ones, Medtronic makes them, and they're all much simpler. It's the only one with, with two, two points, two levels. So it's kind of a cool little thing. Yes. Can you test any of them? Yes. Yes. If anyone fails, it's actually fails. So it's kind of a scary thing for them. You know, you're going through and you're going to test them. Like, we had one product came in and they did a run of 2,000 parts. And uh, the first batch came in, they were all wrong. So they failed the whole batch at zero. But you have that criteria. Everything you do, so every, the, the, like, the username, every input we make, you know, every requirement, you have to have a test to verify. If some things will change, batch to batch, some things will not change, batch to batch. So you just need to be able to identify what things, like when you go through the process and you go to product verification, is you make sure that the product operates and is compliant with the manufacturer. And then uh, you go through product validation, which means it's going to operate in the manner in which it's expected to operate in the fluid flow by the by the physician. Okay. So if you can validate those processes, you don't have to inspect the solution. But until then, you, everything is hand inspected. I mean, those things go under a microscope. Every one of those gets tested for hours before, like the max, before we get to it. It's an interesting thing, but they they spent tens and tens of millions of dollars on this truck in the four years they made this truck. It's kind of crazy, but they're on the market for half the money that it would cost to normal plastic. That's not bad. How is that class two? That's a great question. Uh, yeah, I would actually put 